reaction when you heard that they were going to make Danny Garcia and Brandon Rios an eliminator? I don't, this might be the fourth or fifth or sixth eliminator for that title. It's like, what? You know, I, I, had, to, I had to make a, a phone call myself to really understand understand what that is, you know? And it's basically just the winner of myself and Keith Thurman is gonna fight the winner of Brandon Rios and, uh, and uh, Danny Garcia, uh, who obviously we all expect to be Danny Garcia, but he shouldn't even made the fight with Brandon Rios. He should've came on and fought me. Mm. Mm. Do you think that's gonna be the case though? I mean, you don't think there's gonna be any funny business where they might try and make you and well, Danny fight? You know it's funny business right now with uh, with, uh, with with Keith Thurman fighting Jesse Vargas. Uh, nothing against Jesse at all, it's my boy, but I'm in line to fight uh, Keith Thurman. You know, this is this is Keith Thurman's doing. You know, um, the best thing, like I said, the best thing I can do is, is, is stay ready. Uh, if they say, hey, we want you to fight Danny Garcia, I welcome that fight. Why? Because I was trying to get that fight two years ago, before I fought Keith Thurman. You know, so three years ago now, before I fought Keith Thurman, you know, so that's still a fight that I welcome. Um, outside of that, it's Keith Thurman. I've been fighting to get that rematch for a long time. Yo, you mentioned that you expect Danny Garcia to win that fight against Brandon Rios. So does Brandon have a chance at all in that fight, or? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, but I haven't really, you know, I haven't really looked at Brandon Rios and analyzed him in a long time. I can't, I can't tell you the last time I really looked at him as, you know, a, a good fighter, a fighter that I, I would, I would fight. So. Yeah. That's crazy. What other than how the for you these days? Everybody's good, man. A lot of people love you, I, I wasn't expecting to come out here and uh, book the flight. On Thursday, came out yesterday uh, night, last night, and uh, I couldn't wait to get here. You know, um, I have a love-hate relationship with New York, man. The, the, the traffic makes me hate it. Uh, how fast it, it moves makes me hate it. Um, but the fans, the people, the boxing atmosphere makes me love New York. You know, so couldn't wait to get here. Sean, why is it so hard to get some of these fights? I mean, you mentioned, you know, some of these guys are playing around. I mean, it would make sense that Danny Garcia, instead of fighting Brandon Rios, he fights you. Boxing has changed, you know. Um, at one point, I couldn't believe that some of these old school fighters had upwards to 100 plus fights as professionals. But back in the day, <laughs> They didn't really take care of their health, and they were fighting every other week, every other month, even when they had a championship belt. Boxing has changed. The revenue has changed. The business has changed. Is that what it is? The marketing? Oh, yeah. The marketing has changed. And on top of that, we're smarter. You know, we know we can't get back in the ring two weeks after a championship fight, you know? But we can't get in the ring a few months after the fight, you know? So I think some of these fighters may be, you know, milking, you know, their belts and, and, their, and their status as professionals. And they're making money, they're living their lives. I get that, you know, but I'm in this business to, to be seen, to be heard, to make noise, uh, to make money, to win. And uh, I would love to fight more, you know? I always say the same thing. If, if I'm healthy, I fight, you know? So right now we still are baby the hand a little bit, but as long as I'm healthy, I'm, win I'm willing to fight. I can't say the same about every other fight. Is that kind of the gift and the curse of, of fighters being smarter now about their business? Is that it kind of makes it hard to get the fights that you want to get? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of the gift and the curse. You know, you can't really get the fight that you want at the time, um, but there's a lot that goes into it. Even after you, you, you take care of the health, even after you take care of the, that's the guy I want, now you got to, you know, wait for the business and so on and so forth.